Welcome back to Technical Tuesday. Today's stuff is going to be a change of edge. But don't forget to like and subscribe so you get more of our videos each time they pop in. Let's get busy. A change of edge is one of the first compound moves we learn on one foot. We stroke onto a forward outside edge and swing the free leg through as we twist into an opposition check. Then the free leg swings back tight under our center as the check unscrews and our body weight sways over to the inside edge. This step is found in both the Fiesta Tango and also in the Riverside Rumba. A quick word on the final position of free leg. There are variations. This one here, finishing with the free leg tucked and crossed behind. And for all those purists out there, this is the free leg just along the skating circle, a very neutral but pleasing finishing position. Let's review the three main control movements, swing, twist and lean. Some imagery to help us with our free leg action. It works like a pendulum or playground swing. It simply moves front to back underneath its fixed point, the hip. The twist or check employed must rotate on a clean vertical axis to be effective. The body sway from the blade to the top of the head that causes the change of edge is working as an inverted pendulum, much like a metronome. The fixed point here is at the base, your skating blade. If we're new to this move, we can get a feel for the weight change across the blade by the barrier. This exercise helps us establish timing and unison of the free leg and body sway. Next, we'll go through all three components in a slow breakdown. Note we are starting with a check into the circle as we strike onto forward outside. As we approach the midpoint of our first curve, we are halfway through our forward swing. The body parts arrive at a neutral position, shoulders squared, free leg under center, and our lean is increasing towards the circle we are skating on. From here, our skating foot and left shoulder draw into alignment using our twist action, and our free leg completes the forward swing motion. Having reached our three endpoints, the completion of check through twisting, the peak of the swing, and the optimum lean, we now coordinate the return to center balance point with the descent of the free leg, the unscrewing motion of our core, and the sway of the body weight away from our first circle. And here is the result. Now the free leg passes under our center. To extend back, the body sway moves into the new circle and the new check is developed through twist of the body bringing the right shoulder forward. And here let's take a moment to appreciate how much our body has swayed from one side to another. We'll watch it one last time at full speed. If you've enjoyed this Technical Tuesday, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. We love to hear from you. Please feel welcome to leave us your questions in the comment section.